What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com, back with another SketchUp extension list video for you. So in this video, I wanted to talk about some different extensions that are helpful for creating house modeling within SketchUp. Before we get started, today's video is brought to you by the SketchUp Essentials course. The SketchUp Essentials course is a course that I created to give, uh, it's basically the equivalent of a two-day training in SketchUp. So it covers everything from the basics of SketchUp all the way through more advanced modeling, uh, modeling for interior design and layout and photorealistic rendering. In addition, I'm there to answer questions and help you out if you get stuck. So if that's something you're interested in, you want to take your SketchUp training the next, to the next level, make sure you check that out at the sketchupessentials.com slash course. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. So for every one of these, I'm going to link to more information about them down below. Usually I'm going to link to uh, my uh, tutorial videos or my intro videos about these extensions. So if you're looking for more information or if you want to download them, just make sure to check out the links in the notes down below. So the first extension I want to talk about is Medik Foundation. Medik Foundation is a detailed foundation creation extension that allows you to basically create detailed construction level foundations within your model. So it gives you options for just about everything you can think of having to do with foundations. So you can model everything from your anchor bolts um, to your different slabs, um, adding things like brick ledges. It's very, very detailed. And so if you want to create something where you can actually model the rebar and the anchor bolts within your drawings, you can see what this, what your foundations are actually going to look like, then uh, make sure you check out this extension. House Builder is an older extension that contains a set of tools designed to help you model house framing. It contains everything from framed flooring to framed walls. Once you've created walls with this extension, you can go back and add and move around doors and windows to the walls that you've created, as well as creating roof framing. Note that this is an older extension, and some people have had some issues getting it installed, but it seems to be working fine for me. It's a great extension for creating detailed framing drawings for your houses. Profile Builder is a smart profile building extension. While House Builder creates wall framing, you can set up wall assemblies within Profile Builder that contain things like framing, sheathing, drywall, and bat insulation. Once you've created these assemblies within Profile Builder, you can also create a schedule of materials, allowing you to quantify the objects that you've created within your profiles. In addition to assemblies like walls, you can also create objects like stair rails, foundations, or other objects, basically anything with repeating pieces with Profile Builder. 1001 Bit Tools is a collection of tools designed to make architectural modeling much easier. This extension contains a little bit of everything, including wall building tools, including tools to add openings to those walls, stair creation tools, door and window frame tools, tools for roof framing and joist creation, and more. This large tool set contains many useful tools. Check out the link below for more information on how to use each one of them. TIG's Roof Extension is an extension designed to help you create many different kinds of complex roofs easily. This extension works on simple rectangular roofs, as well as roofs with more complex shapes, allowing for a lot of flexibility when working with different shaped buildings. This extension can be very useful when working with shapes that are more complex, allowing you to go in and create roofs without having to create all the geometry manually. So I'm running out of time this morning, so I'm going to split this up into two parts. Next week, I'll cover the next five extensions. Leave a comment below. Let me know if there's an extension you'd like to see on this list. I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.